hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel then i welcome you and thank you so much for checking this video out and giving me a chance and if you are returning then as well thank you for coming back so today as you notice i am going to be doing some uh, popsicles for fourth of july here i am working on the rocket actually rocket popsicle and now i'm using this air dry clay uh, it was a bit difficult at first trying to work with it because it kept getting dry But as soon as I started just rubbing some water on there, it was it just made it much easier to work with so If you do decide to use this air dry clay Just make sure you have a cup of water with you just so it can help you along on shaping the rocket By rolling the clay back and forth I, and adding water every now and then, I got the marks out. And after that, I started shaping it into like almost a square shape. I used this uh, fold, well, plastic fold and score tool. If you don't have one, you can use a popsicle stick, which I also will show you that I was using here. Uh, just to help me line it up to give me that square flat shape to it and then as well to add those creases in there like to make it more look like that uh, rocket popsicle. Okay, so now I'm just going to place this to the side and I'm going to be working on some popsicles. Now here I have two different sizes and these small little popsicles, I made them out of plaster of Paris. And now that they already have been dried up, I am going to start painting them. Before I paint my popsicles, I'm going to want to add some straight lines. So for this, I'll be using some washi tape. Now this part is optional. As you can see I need to add a couple of more lines in there so I chose not to use the washi tape and I could have used a ruler but I chose not to uh, just to see how straight I could do my lines um, it did show a little bit of cricket but I didn't care you know I'm fine with it uh, if you choose to do this and you're not gonna be too crazy about those crooked lines then uh, a ruler will be the best way to go if you do not have any washi tape on you. I want my popsicles to have a very festive look so I'm going to add some frosting aka spackling, also some glitter and some sprinkles.
Okay, so what do you think? Here I have some larger popsicles that I made as well. I use fabric paints for my letters and sp sparkles. Um, also a watermelon and I also chose to make this hot fudge with nuts. If you're wondering where I got the nuts, I found those actually at the pet store. The name of the brand is KT Kebab. Well, my friends, if you have noticed as well that this is the end of the video, I want to thank every single one of you for stopping by. And if you have not subscribed, I really hope you consider and doing so. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And until the next time, stay safe, be kind. Bye.